Your real estate wholesaling assignment contract is void. But I want to share with you why it shouldn't matter. Hey, my friend, this is all I come to you live from my Empire Pro Studios here. I'm still here in Dallas, Texas. So let's dive right into it. Uh, we're going to talk about why I think all real estate wholesale assignment contracts are dead in the water, void. Uh, useless, but not really, right? Because obviously I've made some good money. Uh, Philippine real estate contracts. But I want to share with you because a lot of people, they they put on the wrong expectations when they're approaching this business they they're trying to get everything right and by trying to get every little micro step right they miss the big picture and uh, and and effectively can't close deals uh some of them have actually closed deals but they can't close the second deal because they're too hung up on little uh, certain little details the, the details matter in entrepreneurship of course right uh, if you're a true entrepreneur you're probably detail oriented you're probably very you know about certain things right it is what it is I know because I am one right but I also know that that has posed to be one of my biggest weakness over the times you know I wanted to you know especially when you combine that with my computer computer engineering degree or well, let me say engineering degree period master's degree in engineering that thing puts you in a different mindset where you know everything tend to come down to uh, quantitative analysis right when i was growing up there was uh there was two subjects it was kind of like subjects and tests that we had to take qualitative and quantitative aptitude tests and stuff like that i didn't realize how important those things were back then spent a lot of uh, uh, energy not relating back to that you know um, but these days I'm a little bit better I'm better my personality is my personality but what are we talking about here right we're talking about real estate wholesaling at, at the end of the day real estate wholesaling is basically a strategy for you to make money investing in real estate without having money to start with as initial capital so the idea is to buy low and sell high so investors look to buy low and sell high. So if you don't have money, you simply find deals for investors. By marketing, it's a heart and science of finding deeply discounted properties. Marketing out to distressed homeowners, distressed sellers, pre-foreclosures, tax liens. And by helping somebody find a deal, you can make $10,000 just like that. You can make seven, you can make $25,000 just like that. And it's basically just a marketing skill set. That's what real estate wholesaling is okay so we're talking about the assignment contract which is the actual thing that we invest time in finding as wholesalers right the idea is you find a property you lock it up under contract and then you assign the deal with another assignment uh, because it's an assignable it's an assignable clause in the contract that allow you to assign the right to the contract meaning the predetermined price that you that you negotiated you can sell the rights to buy that property to another person so basically if you locked up a property as what five hundred thousand dollars you managed to pull off getting it for 325 right and you negotiated it you lock it up under an assignable real estate purchase contract so you assign it to another person so I'm telling you right now that that contract is void by default and that doesn't mean you can't make money from it okay and I want to make sure that I don't say the wrong things here uh, I'm not a lawyer so make sure you consult with a, a lawyer in your local jurisdiction to make sure you're doing things the right way. But I just want to give you some insights, some things that you can run with. And the idea is this. If you have, you have a contract in your hand, let's say the owner turns around and say, that contract is void. Guess what? It is void. Even after they signed it. <laughs> okay. How do I know? Okay they can decide to give you your money back if you put some money down hopefully you didn't put no more than ten dollars down right because again i'm talking to wholesalers right so hopefully you didn't put anything more than ten dollars down just to fulfill the consideration part of the contract because for a contract to even be valid at all there must be some type of consideration um, in the form of earnest money deposit 
So you could do ten dollars, you could do five dollars as long as it could be a dollar, all right? So as long as there's something on it, quote unquote, that's supposed to make it valid. I call bullshit on that, okay? I don't care if you put a thousand dollars down. The owner can turn around and say, you know what? I was under duress when I signed that contract and I am no longer interested, <laughs> right? I know it's sad, it's ridiculous. So can I go sue? The question is that if you're in wholesaling as a business strategy, as a business model, why would you want to spend your time? Everyone else, even big companies, are trying to avoid litigations of any type. It doesn't matter, like that's not fun. What is much more fun is counting profits on your paper, right? So why would you, why would anyone, I'll, I'll tell you why. Like why would anyone say, can I sue if they decide to back out? Like, why would you want to sue? Like, the idea is to collect as many contracts as possible, assign those contracts, close 5 five to 20% of any contracts you put under contract and you'll be happy. That number I just pulled out of my ass. So, please, um, not necessarily 5 to 20%. You should be doing at least 80% of the contract you sign, right? But the idea is that the point I'm making to you right now is set your expectations a little lower on the contract. Yes, be excited. Yes, celebrate a contract if it comes in. But a contract is nothing less than another stage in the process. What do I mean by stage? So in wholesale and real estate, there are five stages. There's data, there is contact, there is leads, and then there's contract, and then you close a deal contract is just another stage yes it's in written form when you sign something it makes people feel like feel a sense of commitment right that sense of commitment is still very valid but what i'm saying is that if it gets down to it and you end up in a court of law because you signed a contract uh, that's assignable that contract is void worst case scenario you put some money down they'll give you your money back but even that money, if it's insignificant enough, it's probably not refundable because again, the contract wasn't void. I mean, the contract wasn't valid in the first place. The only thing that makes this contract valid in my personal opinion, not a legal opinion, what makes it valid is that it creates a sense of commitment. And there's another thing that can make that contract, that guarantees to make that contract valid, is if you're dealing with a motivated seller. A motivated seller wants the contract to be valid. A person who is on the fence, who is a little kind of like questionable, and then you kind of pull off a grand cadon closing tactic to close them, they can pull out. Pause. Right? They can decide to disengage from the contract and say, hey, it's void. And you can do you can do something about it, but there's a good chance you're gonna just waste your time. Time that you could be using finding the next lead and then locking up the next contract. You're busy fighting a contract that was void in the first place. Let's say you get in the court of law, there's a good chance that the judge will say, this is stupid. Your contract is void. But I just told you in so many words why you shouldn't worry about that. It, it still creates a sense of commitment. Focus on finding motivated sellers and you'll be all right. If you want all the steps that I follow and more breakdown better, just go to the link on the screen. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thanks for supporting me. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,